so kablam, we will still be friends, though I know one thing. You're not made for commentaries. I picked this one because you roasted the same kid Claymore has roasted before. You're blindly following Clay Claymore like he's a sword of God or something, making him resemble other loud cows like Joe Crusher Pickles. Okay, here's the thing, putting me music in your videos does not make you edgy or cool. It makes you look like those 13 year olds who worship Filthy Frank and Leafy is here who try too hard to look edgy and cool by telling every little kid to kill themselves on YouTube while they do long and boring cringe compilations and respond to hate with memes. I got nothing. I got no words for this introduction. The video we're going to be looking at today is so stupid and so bad, I can't even come up with an introduction. Hey YouTube, it's Kablam Bandicoot 64 band to commentary, that kid dumbass. You hate Spurks really much, but you really making yourself look like one making a parody names for some kid you don't like. Go animate haters. What? More like go animate fans. Oh boy, do I have a lot to say about this guy. Oh boy, well... You know, I, I used to actually like his videos, but then he made that abysmal video on me, and then I unsubscribed to him. And then he made that abysmal video on Clay Claymore, which Clay ROASTED! Oh, you ended up hating on him just because he did a video giving you criticism about your commentaries, and just because he did a video on your god Clay Claymore. Also, stop saying roasted in such a singy songy voice. It's not funny. It's just dumb. Really, really dumb. And then he made a follow-up, which in turn Clay ROASTED! And now I am gonna proceed to roast it. So, let's begin the roast! Am I the only one who thinks the roasted term is pretty used if used it unironically? I mean, it just reminds me of those Leafy Zier fantards, aka the reptilian army who just go hiss at every video Leafy Zier commentates on. So Clay Claymore finally responded to me, and I'm honestly disappointed because quite frankly he didn't do a very good job. Of course, you would be the one to say that considering he ROASTED you. Okay, I'll stop saying ROASTED, but come on, it's pretty obvious that you're just upset that he made the video on you. That's the only reason why you're, you're not pleased with his video, it's because he attacked you, and rightfully so, because your video was shit. You rambled on over the same goddamn stupid nitpicky complaints over and over and over again, and he called you out on it. No, he means that he just liked it. Clay Claymore's video because he thought Clay didn't argument very well, and just insulted him over and over. So we stated it at this point would honestly be pretty redundant. Ah, you complaining, you of all people complaining about being redundant. That is hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at your Clay Claymore video. 24 minutes of you being redundant. And look at Clay's Mr. Enter video. 9 minutes of him being redundant. Now I know why he doesn't make videos on people that actually criticize him. I'll admit, I was legitimately wrong about one thing. Clay, maybe you should. In fact, Fuck the maybe. You definitely should go after people that can't defend themselves. Yeah, Clay honestly should go after people who can't defend themselves. As clearly shown here. Yeah, there's a reason why he went after you twice. You can't defend yourself worth a shit. You just said a thing I hate about Clay Claymore. He pretty much goes after easy targets whenever it comes to people calling him out. That Clay Douglas is going to say that later in the video, in which I'm going to explain more. And why me of all people? Don't give me any of that, why me, why me, bullshit. Your video sucked and he called you out on it. That's why he made his commentary on you. Just listen to what that kid Douglas is gonna say right now. I I'd really like to know this, why me? When it comes to critical analyzing, which is what ranters and commentators do, I'm not even the best at it. I'm nowhere near the best at it. I'm okay, but there's so many other people that are far better than me that made excellent videos criticizing you that you could have chosen to commentate on. So you just admitted that you're a flawed commentator? Yeah, that's why he commentated on you. you your arguments were flawed, okay? 
your arguments weren't that good. And so, Clay made a response because your arguments were not that good. God damn it, you just admitted why the fuck he made a commentary on you. You just fucking admitted it. You're not that good at making rants. There's a reason why he didn't go after those supposedly excellent rants on him, though I beg to differ on most of them. But there's a reason why. It's because they were all better than yours. Yours in particular sucked, and that's why he did the commentary on it. You just admitted this yourself. No, it's because it was very hard to counter such excellent commentaries, hence why he went after easy targets such as that kid Douglas. And instead, for whatever stupid reason that defies any sort of quantifiable logic, you decided that I was worth your time. Yeah, that unfathomable reason why he chose you of all people. I mean, it's simply unthinkable. Can you believe it? Your video was shit! And so he decided to commentate on that shitty video. Well, I just can't believe that. That is simply, like, there are a, that is so confusing. Like, oh, I can't believe it. This is why you should do scripts first before doing a commentary. You're complaining about that kid Douglas being redundant when... Your video was shit. You rambled on over the same goddamn stupid nitpicky complaints over and over and over again, and he called you out on it. Yeah, there's a reason why he went after you twice. You can't defend yourself worth a shit. Your video sucked, and he called you out on it. That's why he commentated on you. You, uh, Your arguments were flawed, okay? Your arguments weren't that good. And so, Clay made a response because your arguments were not that good. God damn it, you just admitted why the fuck he made a commentary on you. Can you believe it? Your video was <gasps> shit! And so, he decided to <gasps> commentate on that shitty video. Well, I just can't believe that. That is simply, like... There are up. That is so confusing. Like, oh, I can't believe it. Since you obviously don't seem to get it, let me say this. Don't ever pick a fight with me. Ever. Because you are going to lose. Wow, we got a real badass over here. Yeah, I don't want to mess with you. Don't ever try to pick a fight with me. I will whoop your ass. Yeah. Internet tough guy, ladies and gentlemen. The epitome of an internet tough guy. Okay, and you didn't even think that Clay Claymore is an internet tough guy himself. It's not my fault, nor is it the fault of the various people that have made videos against you, that people know how shitty you are. And as, and as, and as little as you like to believe, I'm not a hater. Bullshit. I'm really not. You don't actually have any haters, bro. See, this is just going off the top of my head. There's Doodle Tones, Megadoop TV, Reaper, uh, Skeleton Nation, you. All of uh, you guys, by the way, failing to provide any sort of decent criticism against Clay Claymore. You just pretty much bitch and moan because your opinions are different from his. Yeah. Clay can be aggressive, but that's his style, and that's what he chooses to do. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Nope. Some aspects of his style makes him a loud cow in the internet. Unbelievable amount of insult in his commentaries, saying spark and manchild every free sentences, showing his personal life in others' faces, treating cartoon fans like they're the devil, thinking every single adult who likes cartoons as some retired basement dweller, and more. And, 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 and some food for thought, maybe if you weren't such a dick to everybody, maybe if you didn't make shitty text-based videos filled with ad hominems and derogatory slurs, then maybe, just maybe, the haters wouldn't criticize you as much. You know, there's nothing necessarily wrong with Clay using text in his commentaries, that's just what he likes to do. Explain to me, what's the problem with him using text-based commentary? Like, tell me this. What would be the difference between Clay using his actual voice and using text? He'd still be saying the same shit. Like, why are you complaining about the fucking, the fucking style, the fucking output of his commentaries? You're complaining about that. And apparently you're not the only one to do so. Like, are you people just running out of things to nitpick? I honestly feel like you guys are just going, shit, there's not enough things to nitpick. Uh, Text base! We're gonna go with that! It's that Clay Claymore shows less emotion through text, and that he looks like and more like an internet tough guy, as the stereotypical internet tough guy never show his real face. 
And I don't even think his profile picture was his real face at all. But you're never going to do it because you're too much of an egotistical fuckwad to even acknowledge that what you're doing is incredibly flawed. To be quite honest with you, I'm done with you and your nonsensical drivel, because all you've proven to me is that you're an oversensitive, egotistical, insecure, butthurt, petulant child. I'm sorry, but have you just never looked in a mirror in your entire life? Yeah, that part where you were complaining about him being ego egotistical? Oh, I'm just a nobody on YouTube. Why is Clay picking on me of all people? I mean me of all people. Yeah, that's totally not egotistical at all. Spoiler alert, yes, it fucking is. No, he said that because he was an easy target, like the offers of the better rents on him. And you're getting this bent out of shape because I made a video criticizing you. Not just that, it's more so because the video that you made was garbage, and he wanted to give his two cents on it, and he did so well. You're the one who's butthurt. Actually, you three are butthurt, honestly, no offense. That kid Douglas didn't do the commentary that well, honestly, and he did overact a bit, I admit. Clay Claymore got butthurt because the video was against him, and you got butthurt because the video was against Clay. But, you know what? Call me an anti-Clay Claymore hater all you want. You can cry on Twitter all you want about how mean I am and, and, and about how mean other people are because they criticize you. I fucking dare you. Wow. Clay, I'd be shaking if I were you. Don't you dare post anything on Twitter regarding Douglas. You know he'll throw some shit back at you. Especially when he said he would never make another video on you ever again. Just saying, that kid Douglas is not a hater for calling Clay Claymore out. A hater is someone who rapidly hates Clay Claymore regardless of his arguments, opinions, and completely ignore his points. That kid Douglas didn't ignore his points at all. I'm Kablam Bandicoot 64 and happy fucking holidays. Okay, that looked just too edgy. Anyways, Kablan, we are still friends and you're a very cool person, but definitely not made for commentaries. You often receive a lot of hate for it, so maybe you can try another hobby, something that you both like and is talented on. Otherwise, you'd just be sad and often hate it on. So, this is Tohalicious, signing out.